Hey folks, today is May the 27th. It's currently 6.11 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Pro Max Gold EA week number three update. And this is going to be for the preset three settings. If you guys recall, last week we made 3.51%. The week before that, we earned 1.94%. This was a tough week for the Pro Max EA. If you guys recall, I believe it was last week the vendor took a hit we'll take a look at that and this week those same trades closed out for us and we took a hit so as you guys can see we lost 21.91 percent this week and for the month of may that is 17.09 percent and we can basically see we were at what is that 82.3 percent and we dropped down to 40.25 percent so from the 18th to the 23rd we took that hit Unfortunately, if we take a look here at the vendor's account, we can see last week he took the hit. May 18th through the 19th, you can see 66.87 to 44, down to 44.97%. All right, so this week the vendor made 3%, but like I said, we took our loss. Our uh, trades that we were able to hold over the weekend ended up closing in a loss unfortunately so we took that 21.91 percent loss and i'm curious to see what the vendor's loss was last week because i know i must have uh, gone in and shown it so i'll take a look at that momentarily here all right give me one second i want to pull up the previous video and i know i came in here and showed the vendor's account all right, so that's where I showed my account, and this is the website, and I'm pretty sure I showed all three of the presets, and this is account three preset, so let's take a listen. Also, take a quick peek at the uh, Telegram group, because I'm pretty sure they did mention uh, the trading between these two presets, so we'll take a look at that as well here, and let's go back. I believe we had one individual it did mention uh yep i was just making sure we were on the right thing so it looks like preset two in this instance actually did better than preset three okay so maybe it was back a little further let's go ahead and check this out here all right so let's try this i know for a fact last time i checked uh preset three was running all right, so 4.34%. That's preset, preset two, 2. And that's with OPO Forex. And preset 3. Wow. So it looks like with preset 3, he actually, the vendor actually took a hit of 8.19%. Okay, so their hit was 8.19% last week. Definitely interesting that our uh, closed out trades ended up being so much basically uh worse for us here we ended up losing 21.91 percent so we're kind of out of sync in some way i know he's with a different broker i'm with lmfx and the vendor is with what's his broker here opo forex so there's definitely uh some differences there he's on a live account i'm on a, dem a demo account and a few other differences as well so it just just is what it is at this point unfortunately but we can definitely uh, go back here and we can take a look and see what preset two did or how it did this week. We can see here 3.15%. So the vendor is pretty much doing good overall across the board, I'm going to assume. Preset one, 0.23%. All right, so yeah, all three of his uh, different settings did extremely well this week. Like I said, I'm assuming we had some drawdown going into the weekend last week i'm gonna come back over here all right so as we can see this is last week's update we had 981 dollars and 16 cents and we closed out this week how much 1997 dollars and 56 cents so yeah we took a heavy hit this week and this isn't the first time where uh actually it is possible that we were in buy trades and the vendor was in sell trades. I've seen that happen as well. So it kind of just depends on where you are and also when you uh, get started taking trades. 
All right. It's unfortunate, but it happened. So we're going to, I guess, run one more week with the Pro Max EA before we jump over. I'm kind of anxious to go ahead and get started, to be honest with you, but I'm going to let it have, you know, one more week for us to continue testing the uh, preset three accounts. All right, let's go ahead now. Check out Khalid's preset three demo account and also his original settings. All right, so preset three looks like 4.27%. And the original settings, 4.93%. Very interesting. So it looks like my account is kind of the odd one out here. I just uh, didn't do well this week, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead here. Take a look at the news for the week before we jump into the VPS. All right, so it looks like Monday, nothing there. On Tuesday, nothing there. Wednesday, nothing there. Thursday, we had prelim GDP and unemployment claims out of the U.S. And on Friday, we had core PCE price index. All right, let's take a look here. As we can see, we do have one trade in profit going into the weekend. And let's see where things went wrong for us. First day of the week was the 23rd. All right, so we got started right here, closing out losses. We can see here, man, so that Monday, we just started taking hits. We started taking losses, loss after loss here, which is unfortunate. You know, like I said, this group of trades right here closed out with a lot of losses. And unfortunately, our winners... Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six winners for uh looks like each of them was seventeen dollars and fifty cents. Obviously not gonna be able to uh balance out the large losses that we took, which is definitely unfortunate. Like I said, I have seen before things kinda get a little wonky with different accounts, even when I'm uh dealing with people that are trading with the same broker. You know, results just uh kinda just go off the rails a little bit so it just uh it just is what it is at this point all right let us now come over here let's go ahead and refresh the page all right let's take a look and see what people had to say i manually closed my sell trades for a five percent loss i may stop promex for now this has just not been performing well since the start of the year. The market has changed with high trend days and small retracements, which is not which does not suit this counter trend EA. The vendor also had losses last week. All right, let's keep on going. Hi, Larry. The drawdown max you mentioned is what the EA was hit during trading and not your max percentage allowed. I think that's what I was talking about right here. Good to know. Definitely good to know. All right. Uh, make sure if you want to set a limit, it is set to true and choose a percentage you want to trade to close. You want all trades to close. I am using an indicator and it just changes from red to green. I close my tra my sell trades as I think we're in a bullish phase again. Can't wait to see this new EA. But with making 50 percent seems a bit scary. Good. And I responded here. OK, thanks for the information. Yes, I agree. The new EA does seem scary. Good. It's made over 7 percent this week alone. Can't wait to start testing it one more week to go. All right. I don't understand why Promax can have both buys and sell trades at the same time. All right. That's talking about the EA's trading. All right. The default allowable max drawdown percentage preset three is 45 percent. The vendor recommended around 15%, so you may want to use that to be a bit less risky. Okay, so that's something we can go in and change. So that way the, uh, I guess, max drawdown can be 15%. So that may be something you want to uh, look into if you're going to continue to test the EA. All right, regarding the new EA, the results seem crazy good, so I'm a bit skeptical. Although they do give a 30-day money-back guarantee. Yes, they do indeed. So we got one more week before we start testing the uh, new EA here. All right. The reason people vary so much in results in the previous video, one of the previous videos, somebody asked why, um, I guess the results vary so much. And Courtney said people vary so much in results isn't necessarily broker or spreads. I mean, it is, but it's also timing. When did you enter the market? If you entered on a different phase, your EA can be trading opposite what another trade, what another trader might be seeing. You may have buys. They may have sales just because you entered at a different time. Yep. So that's one of the reasons why I said, you know what I mean? Like 
This week, I'm currently down heavy, but who was it here? Uh, a lot of other people actually made profits this week. Where was it at here? Preset 3, I'm pretty sure it was this individual. Yeah, 4.27%. So he may have simply started at a different time than I did. So the trades he got in might be completely different than the trades I got in. All right. Let's see here. Reply. Yeah, I agree that it's mostly timing of the trades, although people can have the same GMT time settings and run the EA during the same time period, still enter trades at different times, leading to varying results. And once that first trade is placed, you're locked in that direction. All right, so yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. It's one reason why I like the, what is it here? Or I kind of leaning more towards the Red Fox, I believe it's called EA, as far as these uh, gold trading EAs, mainly because it's a, uh, a vendor that's actually or a group of traders that's actually monitoring what's going on with our trades and on their end they actually uh shut things down when the the market is going to be wild and crazy and they talked about that in the uh, telegram group as well so definitely uh appreciate the red horse ea managing things on that level for us there all right so i think that is everything i want to touch on with the pro max ea definitely unfortunate results for the week but we do have to report on uh, whether the news is bad or good for the week. We have to report them. All right, let's get back to the home page here. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever on the Pro Max EA, just send them my way, and I'll try to uh, get those answered for you. And if you do choose to test it out for yourself, whether you want to try VIX original settings or you want to try some of the uh, vendors' new settings that seem to be doing well, just uh, shoot me an email. And I will get those over to you. And if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use the link below to help support the channel. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you on the next update. And like I said, next week is going to be our final Pro Max EA update. Before we jump into the uh, new updates for the new system, we'll be looking at testing. And I have continued to follow along with that. And the new system made 7% this week. Doing extremely well. So we'll keep an eye on that uh, next week as well before we start testing it. Take care, folks.